In this video, I'll demonstrate the latest updates to Game Rig tools. We have updates in both the core module and the Unreal module. We'll start with the core Game Rig tools. I have a character rigged with a control rig, and so the basic process has not changed much. I have to set the control rig here in the control rig field. I'm going to press generate. The settings have not changed, so we're not going to cover them. And I'll generate a basic game rig. Here I need to do some tweaking of the hierarchy. And now we can focus on the updates. If you're familiar with game rig tools, you will notice that the buttons here at the top have changed. Our goal with this change was to streamline the way we interact with the game rig and control rig. So now we have a toggle rig button, which if I press, it will hide the control rig and unhide the game rig. And if I go to pose mode, I'll be able to manipulate, which means that the constraints have been muted. If I click toggle rig again, I'll switch to the control rig and I'll be able to control the character with it, which means that the constraints were switched back on with just one click. Notice that when I click toggle rig, the status of the button above changed to disconnected. And if I toggle rig again, I'll be using the control rig and the button says connected. So this button now will give you a clear indication whether your game rig is connected to the control rig. We used to have a mute and unmute button in its place, and some people just didn't understand what this button did, and there was a slight chance of user error. So I think this streamlines the interface. The connected disconnected indicator is a button in itself. So if I click it, now the game bones will be disconnected, which means that the control rig won't be controlling the character. So in most cases, just use the toggle rig button and that will do exactly what needs to be done. Next to toggle rig, we have this little setting, which you can turn off, and that will disable the automatic switching of the constraints. So now if I toggle the rig, it will stay connected, which means that I'm unable to manipulate the game bones. So again, in most cases, just keep the default interface and click the toggle rig button. Next to the control rig and game rig, we have visibility settings, and you can hide and unhide the rigs manually, but again, most of the time, you just need to click Toggle Rig. The Mute and Unmute button that we used to have here at the top are now moved under Utilities. So now they are a general utility that you can use with your rigs. For example, if I switch to the Game Rig and select some bones and enable this Selection Toggle, which means that only the selected bones will be affected by the Mute or Unmute operation, I can click Unmute which will unmute all constraints on these bones. Also notice that when I do this, Game Rig Tools will show a warning that a partial connection has been detected, meaning that some bones are connected, some are not connected, and that is generally not what you want with your Game Rig, so you'll get a warning. An easy way to fix this is to just press the connected, disconnected button, or just toggle rig, which will just set up things as they need to be set up. And of course, we have the bakery, so if I create an animation for this guy, I can set it in the Action Bakery, click Bake, press OK, and that will automatically switch to the Game Rig, because after baking, you probably want to export your animated character to a game engine. But if you want to switch back to your Control Rig and keep animating and creating more animations, then you just need to press Toggle Rig. This was actually one of the main motivations to make these changes because many people were asking how do I switch back to the control rig. I think now it is as clear as can be. So now I can create a new action. And bake it. Now under NLA, I have these two baked animations. I created these two simple animations on purpose. Let me show you something. I'm going to delete these NLA actions. Toggle my control rig. And this is the arm action. And this should be the leg action. 
Now I'm going to set the bakery to bake both. I'll click bake. And I'll notice how if I play my leg animation, the arm is not in its default position, even though it should be. So that is a general problem with Blender, because the arm animation only had keyframes for the arm, and the leg animation only had keyframes for the leg. When we switch animations, which the bakery does internally, some bone transforms are not reset. So I'll delete this, and under the baking settings, we have this option to clear transform before baking. And we've had this option for a couple of versions, and it is meant to solve this exact problem. So I'll enable it, toggle the rig, and bake again. Now my arm action only contains the arm movement, and the leg action also only contains the leg movement, which is perfect. Until now, we had this option enabled by default because it fixes this problem and we didn't anticipate that it would create any problems. But in some cases, it does create a problem. I can demonstrate the problem really quickly. Virtually all reports that we got about this problem happen with Rigify's Quadruped. So if I generate it, generate a game rig, And I'll create just a random animation with the control rig. Let me hide the meta rig. Okay, and now let's bake this in the bakery and I'll enable this option to clear transform before baking. Bake. And after baking, the front legs are all skewed. And honestly, we are not yet sure why. So for now, we are disabling this by default and we are investigating. And when we find out what the problem is, maybe we'll enable it by default again. And here is a little update for Unreal module. The workflow hasn't changed. I'm going to initialize my many 5 mannequin, align it to the character, and now if I enable the joint tweaks and move the ankle joint, notice how this bone here stays straight. Until now, it had the tendency to tilt up or down, which Unreal didn't like, and as a result, when you export to Unreal, the feet of your character may look skewed, but this here should fix this problem. These are the changes for Game Rig Tools, Core, and Unreal modules.